All right, breaking just moments ago, the House Oversight Committee conducted a transcribed interview with a former FBI supervisory special agent assigned to that FBI Wilmington office. Now, the agent confirmed key portions of the IRS whistleblower's testimony, including that both Secret Service headquarters and the Biden transition team were tipped off about that planned Hunter Biden interview. Joining us now, this is Blockbuster House Judiciary Committee Chair Jim Jordan, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer. Congressman Comer, uh, this is wild. What else can you tell us? Well, this confirmed uh, key components of what the IRS whistleblowers told the Ways and Means Committee in a transcribed interview. And this is good because many Democrats and many in the liberal media have tried to discredit the whistleblowers prior to the committee hearing that we're going to have on Wednesday. So these two whistleblowers are going to come in front of the American people, in front of the House Oversight Committee on Wednesday for about six hours. And the American people are going to get to hear the truth from two credible people on the front lines that were in charge of trying to find corruption within the IRS and here what this FBI agent confirmed is they were blocked at every turn. They were tipped off. The Secret Service tipped off the Biden as, as well as the Biden transition team. Why would the Biden transition team need to know that the whistleblowers were about to interview Hunter Biden? So I think this is good stuff and it adds credibility to our whistleblowers. Um, Congressman Jordan, uh, we understand that one of the whistleblowers is going to reveal himself yeah. later this week or herself later this week. What do you expect that will do to the Democrats' attempt to really smear this whole process? And I, you, you know they're going to end up yeah. further smearing, trying to smear these individuals. Well, these two whistleblowers have been nothing but credible, and today with the FBI agent confirming key parts of their testimony, that just gives more credibility. This is quickly coming down to, Laura, who are you going to believe? The Biden Justice Department that said parents were terrorists, who said Catholics were extremists, who censored Americans' First Amendment free speech rights, or these two whistleblowers who have impeccable records, who got performance reviews always outstanding, who were the go-to guys when it came to international tax fraud cases. These two guys were the go go-to team. Who are you going to believe? These two guys who've now been confirmed by an FBI agent or the Biden uh, Garland Justice Department? I think I'll trust the whistleblowers. And I think you will see that on Wednesday when they appear in Chairman Comer's committee. Well, Congressman Comer, I want to get your reaction to this moment between Biden's former press secretary and one of your colleagues. How concerned are you that James Comer was the chairman of the committee was knowingly, unknowingly working with, co-opted by a foreign a agent. I'm just concerned that um, the House Oversight Committee is suddenly being compromised in a really serious way. Our legitimacy is being eroded by the tactics adopted by Chairman Comer. Congressman Comer, your response, sir. It's very disappointing, but not surprising. The tactics that we are using the House Oversight Committee is we're using a thing called evidence, and it's something that Jamie Raskins has no concept of, and the Democrat liberal media uh, will not consider. We have the Biden's bank records. We have bank violations from six different banks that all reported to the Treasury Cabinet that they felt like the Biden family was laundering money through shell companies. Uh, they were concerned about the fact that some of these wires they were getting from foreign nationals were from state-owned entities. That means they're from, from the government, from the Chinese Communist Party. So I don't think that Jamie Raskin or Jen Psaki can point to one thing that we produced, one thing that we put on oversight stationery that cannot be backed up by facts in the form of hard evidence from bank records and bank violations from the Biden family. Congressman Jordan, you sent a letter I know today to Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. I love this already, which reads in part, given that Meta has censored protected speech as a result of uh, government agencies' requests, the committee is concerned about potential First Amendment violations that will occur on the Threads platform. Yeah, yeah. And according to Fox Business, you're strongly considering holding Zuckerberg in contempt of Congress. 
Are you well, going to really move forward on this? Is, this is just a bunch if of... He uh, if, if he doesn't give us the information, we will. Threads, Threads is using the same guidelines that Facebook used. We know Facebook was censoring Americans because a federal court told us so two weeks ago, laid out 86 pages of facts with Facebook and federal agencies pressuring them and other uh, big tech companies. So we, want, we don't want this to be going on. This is a direct attack on the First Amendment. And we want the information we've asked for months ago. And if they don't give it to us, we can move ahead with uh, contempt if we need to. All right, Congressman, great to see you both. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.